What's up guys, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Gabe with Pest Patrol. Today we're gonna be walking through three reasons why you should never use rodent poison inside your home. Okay guys, so reason number one is the smell. Oftentimes, if you use rodent poison in your crawl space, in your attic, or even around your home, if you have entry points into your home, you're gonna have rats and mice that die in your insulation, in your crawl space, in your attic, or in your wall voids. And sometimes they die in between floor levels, which is extremely inconvenient, can be really costly if you wanna remove them quickly and not just let them sort of decompose there, and just a massive hassle altogether. Mice will decompose relatively quickly, but rats can take weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and the odor is so bad. So if you're considering using poison in your crawl space or in your attic or even on the exterior of your home without first ensuring that entry points have been sealed up going into the home, you need to not do that. You're gonna regret it if you have something die underneath your house, which is very, very common. We run a pest control operation here and we get tons and tons of calls of other companies that have come out to poison and deal with a rodent infestation. They didn't do it properly and now we're coming out to trap and exclude the crawl space or the attic or whatever it is. So number one, the smell. Number two, the risk of poisoning. Now we put this into three different categories, children, pets, and other wildlife outside the home. Children, obviously this is the most important thing, making sure that your household is kept safe from poison. You don't want your kids getting into poison. I know oftentimes you're gonna have poison in crawl spaces or attic spaces that are more difficult to get entry to, but sometimes you've got an attic space that's got literally a door right into a children's room, a child's room. I mean, just think about this. What happens if your child gets curious and goes in there and there's just bait tethered to a beam there? They could get into all sorts of trouble. It could do harm to them and cause potential death if it's not treated quickly. And a lot of times you would never even know about it until it's too late. So being extremely careful with the type of poison that you're using, where you're putting it, and making sure it's in sealed, locked boxes. But even then, if rodents get to it and it starts crumbling and stuff, you could have access to it inadvertently as well. Uh, pets with that is a big concern as well. You've got dogs or cats that are curious. If you have cats that catch rice, mice or rats, you can have uh, cats that get um, ingest poison because your rat ate a bunch of poison from your bait station and now the rat has access inside the home, your cat eats it, and now your cat has to deal with the ramifications of eating a poisoned rat. Same thing with your dog. Dogs can chew open bait stations if you're not careful. If you don't have weighted and tethered down bait stations, they can crumble up the bait in there and fall off the stakes, and it can just be a big mess. So you need to be really careful that your pets and that your children are kept safe. And then the last one there is wildlife outside of the home. Birds, other predators like raccoons and possums, um, coyotes, foxes, uh, birds of prey, all that sort of stuff, they have, they have to deal with the ramifications of secondary poisoning. So if your poisoned rat goes out into a field and then gets eaten by a hawk, all of a sudden that hawk has poison in its system and many, many, many thousands of birds and other species of wildlife die each year due to rodenticide poisoning. And uh, so we need to be careful about that and think that through before we just willy-nilly toss a bunch of poison everywhere. And then number three is that if you use poison too readily, it makes you not think through the entire process of rodent trapping and exclusion, trapping and exclusion being the proper way to get rid of a rodent infestation inside of a structure. Exclusion is locating and sealing up all of the entry points into the home. That means going through all the crawl space vents, sealing up any burrows, making sure that your crawl space door is in good working order, anything going into the attic is completely sealed off so that rodents and other wildlife don't have any access any longer into the home. Once that's happened, if you want to use poison on the exterior, um, that's a different matter and that would at least eliminate the possibility that something's gonna die in your crawl space and stink up your whole home. You still have to deal with the other potential uh, poisoning and that type of thing. But if you do this wrong, if you choose, I'm just gonna dump poison in my crawl space, 
A lot of times people will do that. They'll never even process through getting exclusion work done. And then they just have, they, they've kicked the can down the road. So they have the problem come right back up again in six months, in eight months, in a year. And then they end up having to call out the company like mine that does professional trapping and exclusion for rodents. And we deal with the problem permanently. All right, guys, I hope that's really helpful. Three top reasons why you should never use rodenticide and rodent poison inside of your home. Like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Again, we're trying to hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of the year 2022. We hope that all this content is really helpful for you thinking through pest control and how to do that effectively to keep your household safe. Thanks for watching. Go Rocket.